From the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world, here's the 964th broadcast of your Grand Ole Opry, tonight starring Jim Reeves. <laughs> Sunday night, and by that Monday morning, overnight, although I wondered, overnight, what's wrong with me, overnight, love walked right in and shook me like a tree, too. though I sat down when I got home, and gave my heart a warning, overnight, I dreamed about you, overnight, while count the sheep, overnight, I fell for you so hard I couldn't sleep, all night long, I wished you were my own, and when I came to, I was loving you like a hound dog loves a bone. All night long, my heart was standing still, and when I got up, I pinched myself to see if this was real. Then you came by and told me, dear, the same sweet Monday morning, overnight, you dreamed about me overnight, you loved me too. Overnight, we found a dream that really did come true. I was hugging you like a hound dog hugs a bone All night long my heart was standing still And when I got up I pinched myself to see if this was real Then you came by and told me dear The same sweet Monday morning Overnight you dreamed about me Overnight you loved me too Overnight we found a dream that really did come true Really did come true That really did come true Thank you neighbors very much We're so glad you could be with us For another Grand Ole Opry And here's Grant Turner To lead off with a list Of our all-star cats Be glad to, Jim First off, there's two regulars Rod Brassfield and June Carter and the king of the guitar, Chet Atkins. Yes, and String Bean, Tommy Jackson, the Opry Square Dancers, and all the Opry Gang. And our special guest tonight, the Everly Brothers. <laughs> now, here's a man who put in four years in medical college, being studied by the doctors, the Hornwall hotshot, Rod Brasby. <laughs> Thank you, man. That, that was oh, that was nice. Howdy, Mr. Pretty... Jim Reeves. Howdy, Rod. Well, Glad sir, you. you know, spring is here. Spring is done sprung, and everybody's full of good old sunshine and everything. Right. Oh, it makes you feel good, don't it? Sure does. I'm so glad because you know, pretty soon now the big old tent shows, circuses, and things like that will be going out on the road, pleasing the people all over this right. big, wide, beautiful world. Monkeys and peanuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love circuses, boy. Yes. Sir. I used to work in the circus, Jim. Did you, Rod? Yeah, you didn't know I did. You? No, I didn't. Yeah, I used to work in a circus. I worked for old Ringworm and Bay Rum for about four or five years. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I was out there, feller, that they shot out of that cannon. Oh, you're kidding me. You didn't no. do that. Oh, yeah, I was the one that shot out of that cannon, but I had to give it up and quit because uh, I, I just didn't feel like I was the right caliber. Oh. <laughs> and on top of that, I got tired of getting loaded twice a day. <laughs> You know, when I first went to work for them, Jim, they put me in a little old tent back there and cut a hole in it and stuck my head through this hole, yeah. and people would throw baseballs at my head, yeah. and I'd have to duck, you know. <laughs> That's a tough job, man. Yeah, I know it. Ooh. Yeah, after about two weeks, I quit that job because I couldn't sit down. Wait a minute now, Rod. Wait a minute. You tell me you took a job with a circus... In a tent, sticking your head out of the tent for folks to throw baseballs at your head. That's right. Now you're telling me you couldn't sit down. That well, Jim, mean. I forgot to tell you, they really the back end of that tent out to a dark game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of circuses, I'll never forget. It makes me think of when I was a, a kid back home in my little hometown. Yeah. Why, we had a big old circus come to town there one time. And Poppy took every one of us kids down to the circus. A lot of fun. And there was a whole flock of us young ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a gob of us kids there. They was, let's see, there was eight boys and seven girls and two or three other kids. It was a mess. I'm telling you <laughs> Poppy took every one of us down to the circus yeah. 
And we went in the circus there, and there was a barker feller up there, you know, advertising his show, hollering out in front of the tent thing. Get there. your tickets. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right over this way, two-handed tape, and this, that, and the other, you know. <laughs> Well, sir, Paul and all of us kids went walking up there to the, this place, and Paul says to the fellow, says, how much do it cost to go in there and see that there show? The fellow says, cost you a quarter, quarter apiece, two bits, 25 cents. Paul looked back over that line of young and says, well, I guess we can't go with it. Break me up. Mm -hmm. the fellow says, is all them kids yours, or is this a picnic? Paul says, yeah, they're all mine, and brother, it ain't no picnic. <laughs> You know, Jim, they had a big tent there where they had the show at. Yeah. And ar around behind the big tent, they had a little bitty tent back there where they would show women dressed there. Oh, dress? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where they had, where they show women dressed at. <laughs> One of them stuck her finger through a hole in the side of it there and put near put Poppy's eye out. <laughs> we got home. Mommy, mommy says to Poppy, says, Jim... You see, uh, Jim, Jim is my daddy's maiden name on my grandma's side. Oh, yeah. She said, Jim, what in the cat hair is the matter with your eye? And he said, well, I pretty near lost the sight of it. She says, through an accident? <laughs> he said, no, through a little old hole about that big. <laughs> Rod, you know, sometimes, lad, I just, well, I just got my doubts about you. I sure have. Well, now I know all of you are anxious to hear from our guests, so here they are, Don and Phil, the Everly Brothers. Well, Don and Phil, it's good to have you back here in Nashville, Tennessee, especially after all those big doings up in New York. Well, it's good to be back, Jim. I'll say. Well, say, fellas, you know, we all know you record for Cadence, and we know you have a brand new record, so... Let's premiere it here on the Grand Ole Opry tonight. The Everly Brothers and their brand new record, Claudette. Oh, oh, Claudette. Oh, oh, Claudette. Well, I got a brand new baby and I feel so good. She loved me even better than I thought she would. I'm on my way to her house and I'm all out of breath But when I see you tonight, I'm gonna squeeze her to death Claudette, pretty little bad Claudette Never made me fret Claudette But she's the greatest little girl that I've ever met I get the best of love and that I'll ever get from Claudette Pretty little bad Claudette Never made me fret Claudette My baby treats me right She's gonna let me hug and kiss and hold her tight When the day is over and we're at her front door When I kiss her goodnight I'll holler more, more, more Claudette Pretty little bad Claudette Never make me fret Claudette But she's the greatest little girl that I've ever met I can't do best of love and that I'll ever get from Claudette Baby, if she'll marry me I'm gonna be so happy for the rest of my life But when my brand new baby is my brand new wife Claudette, pretty little pet Claudette you Never make me fret Claudette She's the greatest little girl that I've ever met I keep the best of love and that I'll ever get from Claudette Pretty little pet Claudette Mr. Reeves, you, you want to hear my new poem? Can't say it, I do, Rod. Well, it goes like this. <clears throat> March, you're gone, we're glad you have went. Cause now we all can be content to sit in the sun and fish all day and enjoy smoking good, good P.A. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rod, you don't know poetry, lad, but you sure know you're smoking tobacco because Prince Albert is the best taste in smoking tobacco a man can load that pipe of his with. Why, flitter, yes, and Prince Albert is crimp cut, so it burns slow and lazy like. With PA, you're just bound to get the most comfortable smoke ever. PA tastes good, Rod. That's because the special Prince Albert process keeps in all the natural flavor of the fine tobacco. Yeah, and PA packs right, too. And for making men, PA rolls so easy, burns so cool, and smokes so good. So, pipe smoker or makings man, get Prince Albert smoking tobacco and enjoy the tastiest, laziest, most comfortable smoke you ever had. <laughs> Tommy Jackson and his fiddle, and that's the signal for everybody to grab a partner and join in the dancing. Tommy Jackson, and thank you very much, and Square Dancers, too. Well, there's always fun and frolic on these Grand Ole Opry's, but we never like to forget the religious training we learned at our mother's knee. And here's a fine old country hymn that was a great favorite of hers. So wherever she is, whatever she's doing tonight, just for Mom, I'll fly away. Glad morning when this life is over. Oh, Lordy, I lie away. I lie away. I lie away. To a land on God's celestial shore. I Thank you a lot, everybody. Now, for a quick change of pace, here's the master of the electric guitar, Chet Atkins, with Please Don't Talk About Me When I'm Gone.
Just wonderful, Chester. Thank you so much. I'm sure all the folks enjoyed that. Yes, Jim, I know they did. But you know something? I'm going to enjoy hearing from our next guest, too. Right, Grant. Right you are. And that goes for everybody. Here she is, that country girl who says the woman who drives from the back seat is no worse than the man who cooks from the dinner table, June Carter. <laughs> Where's he at? Who? That little Heverly brother that I like so well. That little Phil Heverly. That's oh, the one I, I like. Know where they are. I, was, I was out with him today. He's got him one of them little hot rods that he rides around in, you know. Mm -hmm. And we had a terrible catastrophe happen in it. We got in it out there in Madison and we was coming into the Grand Ole Opry and hits one of them hot rods and he got in and he forgot to fasten his safety belt. And we rode on in here to the Grand Ole Opry and he got out and he unfastened his safety belt and his britches fell off. Oh. <laughs> he, he got me to where I got me one of them hot rods, too. I'd like to sell it, by the way. It's just about killed me. That's all it is to it. I want to get rid of my hot rod. It's a 57 Cadillac, and I want $50 for it. That's what I give for it, $50. A 57 Cadillac, yeah. and you want $50? I just can't get over it. I can't either. I've been under the thing ever since I got it trying to fix it. It ain't, you see, it ain't, it ain't too much count. That's what's the matter with Oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah, it's a convertible, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good old car, and I'd like to get rid of it. It's a good convertible. Well, that was no convertible I saw you in. Well, that was it. You see, it, well, it ain't a convertible quite yet, but it will be in a minute. The top's loose on it. Oh, I see. Yeah, it wasn't loose yesterday, but you see me and Rod Brassfield, we was a riding in it. I took Rod for a ride in it. And that's what happened to it. We had a wreck. Hitch just tore Rod all to pieces. Did you get a good look at him? Yeah, he's pretty pitiful. Yeah, he is. He's, he's got a big cut place on his head. He's got a big cut place on his arm and a big old cut place on his leg. He's just tore all to pieces. And uh, I've got to get him to the doctor as soon as the show's over. It was, let's see, it was yesterday. It was yesterday we had the wreck. And just as soon as the show's over, I'm going to get him to the doctor. Hitch, I've still got time because he ain't started to bleed yet. Started to bleed yet? Uh -huh. No, uh-uh. Uh, I'm going to get him there just as soon as the show's over. He's tore all to pieces. He's in bad shape, right? You had the wreck yesterday, and he's yeah. all cut all up like this, and he hasn't uh -huh. started beating yet? No, uh-uh. You see, he's got tired blood. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to tell you, you old knothead. Me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you, I don't want to have nothing else to do with you. How come? Because you remember that boyfriend you got from me last week? Oh, yes. That nice. and he come in here from Hollywood. Nice fella, yeah. I ain't going with that smart aleck anymore. How come? That old feisty smart aleck. I ain't going with him another time. What's the matter? Well, you wouldn't want to go with somebody that was ugly and ignorant and stupid and hard to get along with, would you? I certainly would not. Well, he didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> June, before you go, answer a question for me. Are you and that boyfriend of yours ever going to get married? Mr. Reeves, I wish I knew. Sometimes he gets that look on his face, you know, that real happy-like and contented looking. That he, like, you know, like he's about to pop the question. But then he gets that same happy, contented look when he's smoking his pipe loaded with Prince Albert smoking tobacco. So I just don't rightly know. June, every man looks happy and contented when he's smoking Prince Albert. Prince Albert gives pipe smokers the tastiest, most comfortable smoke ever. My boyfriend says it's crimp cut, so it packs right. Burns cool and lazy. Same thing's true for making men, too. PA rolls easy, smokes good. So pipe smoker or making's man, latch on to America's joy smoke, Prince Albert, the largest selling smoke in tobacco today. It's the natural taste, and that's the test. The proves Prince Albert is naturally best. It smokes so cool, more men say, give me mild and mellow PA. Now here are the Everly Brothers again to sing the other side of that new recording, a brand new one called All I Do Is Dream. All your charms whenever I want you All I have to do is dream Dream, dream, dream when I feel blue In the night and I need you To hold me 
tight whenever I want you. All I have to do is dream. I can make you mine, taste your lips of wine any time, night or day. Only trouble is, gee whiz, I'm dreaming my life. Thank you, Don and Phil. Thank you very much. Now, Grant Turner, who's next on the list? Well, Jim, it's our big, tall friend with the short pants, one of the regular standbys of the Grand Ole Opry, the banjo picking boy himself, String Bean. Yeah. I travel all this country wide seeking fortune fair. Up and down the coast line, I travel everywhere. From port and east and port and west, and back along the line. I'm on my way to spread day the old hometown of mine. Ain't no mind so old and never more be blue. I knew someday that I'd come back and hear it from the start. Ain't no mind to lay the hometown of my heart. Lord, I feel so unnecessary. I'm bound to be a girl somewhere to love best of all. Mine to live down in Louisville, she's long and she's tall. She's the kind that you can't find a roaming through the land. I'm on my way to square it, they win their heart and hand. Ain't no mind to Louisville coming to the view. Ain't no mind this old road will never more be blue. I need some day that I'd come back, I knew it from the start. Ain't no mind to Louisville, the hometown of my heart. String Bean and eight more miles to Louisville. String, that was fine, Boy, buddy. Boy, it sure was, Jim. But you know, something just occurred to me. We've had some firsts on this section of the Grand Ole Opry, but wasn't that first song that you did one of your new records? Yes, it was, Grant. Matter of fact, uh, it's brand new. Just and been released. Haven't you been covering a lot of new territory yourself? Well, I've been covering a lot of territory the past three or four weeks, Grant. Haven't been working any, though. I've been on vacation. Oh, well. Now, Jim is a favor to me and all the folks out there. How about singing your other late RCA Victor release for us, that real pretty one? Thank you, Grant. Be glad to. This one's called I Love You More. I love you more With every wave that breaks upon Some far and distant lonely island shore I love Of rain that falls with every drop that falls, I love you more. At night I watch the moon on high and count the stars up in the sky with every star that shines tonight. My love for you is just. Oh, 
a little square dancing. Ready? got to leave you now. It's been real great having you with us tonight at the Grand Old Opry. Hope you'll be back again next week when your star will be Ferlin Husky. And you know who he'll have as guests? Rusty and Dove. Yes, sir. They'll all be here for you. Till then, this is Jim Reeves saying thanks for everything, friends. We'll see you next week at the Grand Old Opry. Best tobaccos make the best smoke. The Camel blend of costly tobaccos has never been equaled for rich flavor and easygoing mildness. Have a real cigarette. Have a Camel. Love that Camel. It's a real cigarette. This program is broadcast to our armed forces around the world by Armed Forces Radio Service and was brought to you by WSM, affiliated with the National Broadcasting Company. This is Monitor, the NBC radio service.